a very warm good evening and again a very happy new year 2023 uh, as per uh, a notification by MCC uh, at the end of the year uh, uh, they have uh, in concern with Ministry of Health and Family Welfare uh, DGHS or uh, like MCC uh, the body which comes under DGHS uh, has taken a special permission to fill up the seats uh, which are vacant, uh, especially in uh, central universities, hospitals, or deemed universities, which come under MC. So, as per the approval uh, by Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, uh, MCC uh, of DGHS will conduct this uh, special stray vacancy uh, round. Uh, now, there are a few pointers we need to take a note of it. There are some uh, crucial and critical uh, rules which we need to understand and which we need to follow so that the, the forthcomings are not hampered. Uh, so, first of all, there will be no fresh registration. Okay, All the existing candidates uh, who had previously registered for round 1 or round 2 or even for mop-up round and who had registered and were not allotted any seats are uh, basically eligible for this round. But uh, with an additional uh, refundable security amount, uh, they need to pay. Earlier, the candidates who have paid uh, 2 lakh 5,000 uh, or 2 lakh 25,000. Okay, so they need to pay additional. Uh, 50,000 rupees to participate in this round and again if you're not allotted the if you're not allotted a seat again in this special stay vacancy round the amount is refundable so first thing no fresh registration existing students uh, who had registered with MCC and are not allotted any seat in any of the rounds it may be first round second round mop up or stay vacancy round okay so uh, the payment facility uh, to deposit the refundable security amount begins from uh, 6th of uh, January 2023 and the last date to uh, do the uh, payment is 8th of January 2023 till 4pm. Uh, we can see it over here on our screens and no, uh, there will be fresh choice fillings. Okay. So, all the previous choices what you had filled in stray vacancy round are won't be considered uh, uh, so once you pay the refundable security uh, deposit 50000 rupees for this round which is only meant for 50000 is meant only for this round and if you are unallotted uh, candidate in any of the rounds then only you are eligible for this round and uh, you can fill fresh choices the seat matrix of the same would be and uh, uploaded on the MCC website uh, by 5th of uh, January, it is anticipated. Okay, uh, we'll come on to uh, on this point also that which candidates should participate in this round. Uh, but at the moment, uh, looking at the schedule, uh, we are anticipating a provisional result on 9th of January and the final result of uh, final result on 10th of January. And the last date, uh, the candidates who get allotted in this round, the last date of reporting would be 14th of January. Okay. So, uh, there's nothing mentioned post 14th of January. Suppose, uh, uh, will there be uh, another special vacancy stray round uh, at the level of deemed universities? We really do not know. And uh, nothing has been mentioned in this uh, notification also. At post 14th, Again, will the deemed university be able to conduct any rounds, uh, which is looking a bit uh, difficult. I don't think so. They would be again given a chance. But uh, yeah, uh, uh, it is mentioned the forwarding the list of students in order of merit equaling to 10 times the number of the vacancies to the deemed universities. So uh, 
a list of candidates will be forwarded definitely to deemed universities um, okay. uh, between 10th and 14th of January 2023. So uh, universities again getting a chance to fill the seats. It's looking a bit difficult at this moment, but uh, let's hope if there's any further course of action or instruction from MCC. Now comes uh, the part uh, which uh, notice uh, which was posted on uh, today morning itself that is uh, on 3rd of January. Uh, all the PG NEET eligible candidates who registered with MCC of DGHS are hereby, uh, hereby informed that completion of four rounds that is round one, round two, mop up round and stay round. Still some seats were vacant and uh, now uh, Ministry of Health and Family Welf Welfare uh, gave permission to DGHS and uh, uh, that uh, they should instruct uh, MCC to conduct one more sp uh, special stay vacancy round to fill these seats. Mm, okay, so there are around 2,244 uh, MDMS Diploma PG DNB seats available and 62 MDS, MDS seats are also available. So this is a uh, good move to uh, fill the seats i know the candidates who are uh, need pg 2023 aspirants uh, will be thinking that uh, despite even delay further uh, the application form for 2023 need pg but uh, making it very clear uh, dghs uh, mcc of dghs is a different body it's a completely different department. NB National Board of Examination is completely different department. So we do not anticipate or uh, we do not uh, make our own judgments that further the course of action for NEET PG 23 might be delayed or NEET PG is not happening on 5th of March. It is delayed further. No, these are all uh, anticipation. Uh, so candidates who are already pr uh, preparing for PG 2023, NEET PG may continue for the same okay now again uh, there won't be a fresh registration as we had communicated earlier in this video uh, but the candidates will be able to do fresh choice filling I know. there won't be fresh registration but there will be a fresh choice filling but it, it will be only after paying the uh, refundable security amount that is 50,000 rupees okay uh, so Make sure once you uh, pay the refundable security amount, uh, uh, which you can pay till 8th of January 4 p.m. And uh, after doing the same, you can do your choice filling. The seat matrix of the same would be in, uh, would be available by 5th of January. Uh, so this is uh, and another part. All the registered candidate, irrespective of their category, that means. Uh, all the registered candidate, uh, that is, you might fall into SC, ST, OBC, NRI, uh, person of Indian origin, or any any category. Uh, this uh, security refundable deposit is compulsory. No matter uh, you want to apply for DNB seats, uh, seats under All India quota, uh, seats under deemed universities, seats under central universities, any 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 seat you want to apply for. You need to pay the refundable security deposit that is 50,000 rupees. Okay, so the refundable security deposit of the candidates who do not join the seats allotted to them in special stay vacancy round will be forfeited. This is the same rule uh, which uh, MCC has been uh, following uh, since its uh, 2018 exist, uh, existence uh, for the counseling. So uh, not a big difference uh, we all are aware of for the same the candidates now the main crucial point i am highlighting over here okay uh, the candidates who do not join the seats allotted to them in special stray vacancy round uh, you filled up uh, your choices or you paid your security refundable deposit 50000 you filled you uh, fill fresh choices and suppose you get allotted okay and you do not take the seat so you won't be able to apply for need pg 23 okay so 
please 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 the candidates who who are especially looking for seats like radio medicine dermat pediatric gynec or even ortho if you do not see these seats and these are your first options you are not willing to compromise this video is not for you and this notification is not for you okay first you see the seat matrix on which is expected to be on uh, on mcc website by 5th okay and if you find your interest seat like your seat of interest like which you want to pursue okay and then you ask yourself what is the probability of you getting that seat okay first if you see the choice which is your choice which is your like choice if you see it in seat matrix ask yourself what is the probability of you getting into okay and second if you if you think the probability is high okay you may uh, uh, pay the fees uh, refundable security deposit 50000 and then uh, make sure when you uh, do the choice filling only those seats which are of your choice which are of your interest you fill those choices only okay suppose a uh, uh, candidate uh, choice is medicine and there is a seat available you know medicine in seat matrix suppose in a particular college so you fill that choice only do not fill an anesthesia or an pediatric or, or an surgery or an psychiatry or an uh, pathology because suppose if if you get allotted a seat other than medicine suppose you got allotted a psychiatry seat or a pathology seat which was not of your interest but you have done that choice filling so this may take you out of the system for 2023 and plus it also forfeited uh, your security deposit and uh, you are also bound for a legal action which will come if they are mentioned in the letter the notification also so first ask yourself whether you really want to participate in this round second the uh, whether you really want to take that particular choice what choice filling you are doing okay so please this is a very crucial part because uh, if by <coughs> any mistake or by any ignorance you you fill up a seat which is not required and you get allotted so you'll be missing on to neat pg 2023 and in a previous video you might have found uh, that next is being planned in december 23 itself so we do not know whether there will be neat pg 24 uh, we even do not know uh, that would there be any uh, plans for the candidates who who are already internship camp completed candidate would they would there be a pg24 need pg24 for them or they have to appear only next 23 and directly um, they would they would be awarded a rank or a percentile on that basis they will be attending the counseling for 24 session um, for uh, mdms or uh, pg diplomas so please uh, it's a sincere request the candidates uh, who do not find their uh, uh, branch of interest in seat matrix do not uh, pay the refundable security deposit or do not participate making it very clear the candidates who are uh, who are eligible is uh, are who are not holding any seat uh, it may be in state counseling or um, it may be in mcc counseling previously there was four rounds which were conducted around one round two mop up and straight or um, candidates who have uh, who who have joined any seats in their respective states are not eligible uh, secondly candidates uh, who will be allotted a seat in special vacancy round will have to report at the allotted institute and join the seat with the original documents so this remains the same the Uh, last date is 14th uh, of january by 5 pm you have to 
if you allotted a seat you need to report okay and uh, candidates especially this time will have to furnish an undertaking uh, now this undertaking may be prior uh, paying the refundable security deposit or maybe uh, before doing the choice filling the you have to uh, uh, agree to some uh, undertaking like it will be you that you agree uh, that uh, by participating in this uh, special stay vacancy round of week pg 2022 uh, uh, you state that you're not holding any seat in previous rounds of need pg counseling it may be under mcc or state okay and uh, you need to you give your agreement uh, uh, that you understand these seats are previous and if allotted a seat in special stay vacancy round if i do not join i lose i i don't even lose uh, i don't only lose my uh, security deposit but uh, i am uh, i won't be uh, able to write exam of need pg 23 as well as uh, i am born for a legal action from a authority okay so this is one major thing See, I'm not here putting any pressure uh, or I'm, I'm not here to frighten anyone. But being very honest, uh, uh, we are already uh, approximately uh, how many? Uh, nearly uh, 60 days exactly to be precise. 30, 3rd is the date today. So we are focusing on uh, 5th of March. So. Uh, 60 days because February will be a 28 day affair so 60 days we have for need PG 23 so I would request everyone to be more focused uh, on March 5th uh, 2023 rather than being focused on next or being focused on this notification uh, because I, I believe you doctors have it in you people uh, okay uh, you've already studied MBBS or you you're doing your internships or you completed your internship so already uh, one big hurdle of your life you have crossed very successfully right so this again uh, March 5th exam 2023 uh, is you might be visiting social medias uh, that, uh, stating that the exam might get delayed. So I, I request every doctor not to focus on uh, the things which are not in their hand. Okay, Focus on your preparations, focus what you have done in your internships, uh, focus on your clinicals. Uh, rather, than being rather than focusing on NMC websites and MCC websites. Okay, uh, Once in a while, yeah, yeah definitely uh, every day make sure once in a while you uh, stay connected uh, to uh, uh, the official NB website where you will find a notification of need pg 2023 examination okay other than this uh, uh, you may visit the official websites <coughs> once in every while um, you can focus on things what are in your control you, you do not focus on the things which are not beyond your control. That is, uh, form getting delayed, <coughs> next examination, or even uh, the pressure of uh, attending special stay vacancy round. Thinking too much about uh, security deposits or legal action. Focus on the things which are in your control. <coughs> Excuse me. No. Finally, uh, I won't take too much time of yours. Uh, the eligibility to participate in special stay vacancy round, which we have already understood. Uh, the candidates who have already registered with MCC and are not holding any seats or uh, were not allotted any seats in NEET PG 2022 counseling. Um, and the ineligible candidates are uh, candidates who were allotted and joined a seat in All India Quota State Counseling. And candidates who are allotted also, though they were allotted, they did not join. Okay, Do these 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 candidates are also not eligible for special stay vacancy. So, uh, to take a uh, 
summary of this we take a summary on this uh, that there will be no fresh registrations but there will be fresh choice filling uh, again a security deposit of 50000 refundable security deposit of 50000 needs to be paid here candidates who are already pursuing their pg uh, are uh, who did get a seat in ncc or state counseling are not eligible candidates who are allotted a seat uh, in counseling ncc counseling but they did not take it are not eligible candidates who were not allotted any seat in any of the rounds first second mop-up and stray no seats were allotted to you pay 50,000 uh, refundable security amount and apply in counseling okay and again i come on to this thing if you get a seat in this round you do not report your you won't be eligible to apply for NEED PG-23 as well as uh, a legal action uh, with the component, component authority can take on you and uh, you lose your uh, refundable security amount also. So I won't take too much time of uh, you all. Uh, I wish you all a very uh, bright 2023 and uh, before say, wishing you a happy new year uh, we pray for your uh, harmony and uh, we sincerely lay our gratitudes towards every doctor india to international as a company respects every doctor and realizes how important doctors are to this planet so we genuinely sincerely thank you lay our gratitude and uh, I hope uh, I was helpful in this video and the candidates who haven't seen our next video uh, like uh, next examination video they can always see it uh, if you've liked this video uh, do subscribe for our channel and thank you all God bless you all thank you thank you